Hey, it's Mrs. Morgan, and we are going to be doing Kusami Princess uh, Polka Dot. Okay, so um, we just today we just basically kind of went over a review. I had some reading material, and you filled out those questions. When you fill out those questions, I don't want to say I don't know the answer because that means it's a zero. But if you try to put the answer and somehow put reference to something you read, then you're going to get it right, even if it's wrong. Because I like the idea that you're thinking and you're trying. So. The mushrooms. Now, I did, I did draw on black paper um, some white lines. So you're going to have to draw through the object, like I've been teaching since the beginning of the year. And we got her mushrooms that were inspired by. They were, these are organic shapes and patterns. Okay, so these are some on the blackboard. And I'm going to show you again. Let me raise it over here. Don't be afraid. Make sure you're going to draw. And you're going to draw a couple times. And you're just going to fill the paper. And this project, the horizontal kind of looks nice. If you want to work vertically, you can have it horizontally. I would, I would kind of recommend just do it horizontally. Okay, so when you do your mushroom, you want to draw a circle for the top, and then you want to do an oval. Circle and an oval. Everything is a shape. Then you want to connect these. Don't, if you see in a line, do you erase it? Or if you're doing real light in pencil, you're not going to see it by the time you paint it and add um, marker and all that stuff. You're not even going to see all that line. So don't worry about that. So I also have one where I drew on the black paper, you'll see. Then you can draw the, raise these lines here and just keep the ones you want. Now here I'm going to draw, an, I put it over there at the bottom. See, that's not flat, it's curved. Now I'm going to put stripes all along here. And you're going to notice you're not going to see my, so when I draw through the object. So here I'm going to do circles, because she loves her circles, or polka dots, they say in the magazine. painting you might want to actually use your paintbrush to make your dots afterwards. Now this is like a um, or the mushroom going upward. This one right here you see the inside of the mushroom and, and that wasn't that hard. I'll show you how I did that one over here. But you have to have at least five or more. So if your paper if you're drawing the mushrooms real small you're gonna have to do some like Fill, do more mushrooms. It has to fill the page. Explosion of mushrooms. Okay, just fill it up. And you also want to think about what pattern you want in the background. Okay, so let's do it again. You got your circle. Mushrooms aren't perfect, so your circles don't have to be perfect. I got my oval. I'm going to connect these. Now I'm going to look at, I'm going to actually see the inside of this one. And so I'm going to put the stem up here. And again, I got my oval. And then I'm going to erase the lines I don't want, which would be here and here, because I'm going to see that stem. It's going to look like you can see part of the inside. And then I'm going to think about what pattern do you want. So I'm going to put some lines in here. And I'm going to put the stripes one now or this way. Fill that up with dots. This really is just a happy U. There's another one. Let's do a small baby one. Let's do a happy U, backwards U, or sad face. So right there. We're going to put the sad face, a mountain. Okay, now, then I'm going to put a curved line here. And I'm going to put a curved line here. Looks like an eye. Just break things up in your eye, like shapes, basic shapes. That's going to help you. I'm going to erase the lines I don't want. Okay. This one's actually really fun like, to, to do, this mushroom here. So let's do another one of them. So you're going to do a bicycle seat. Let's do a bicycle seat. It really looks like a bicycle seat. Like break it up into this, uh, whatever you kind of look at and say, that looks like a bicycle seat. If it looks a little bit weird, who cares? And I'm going to put lines coming out of it. It's coming off the, off the page because I ran out of room. And if I don't like this line, I'm just going to erase it, make more of an arch out of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mushrooms. Oh, maybe I want to do more mushrooms. More is better than.
the last mushroom. All right, so let's do a baby mushroom here. Circle, oval, connect it. This is gonna look weird. And then erase the lines you don't want. You can overlap it where you maybe this one here you have that's in front of that. So we got a circle and an oval. And then I'm gonna put that arch and then you erase the line that you don't want. background. You can use watercolor, you can use washes of watercolor in the background. You get to get a, um, you can do temper paint, you have temper paint. You can do marker, maybe you want to do some kind of pattern in the background too. Pattern on top of pattern on top of pattern. The color, when you color it in, maybe you don't use every color that you have. Maybe you just think, oh, I want to use three colors. Maybe it's all warm colors. Maybe it's all cool colors. Maybe it's too cool and all warm. What are warm and cool colors? They get the sun, it's bright. So it would be magenta, red, orange, yellow. What are the cool colors? You think more of a blue purple, um, blue, teal, green, any shade of green. Okay, that would all be on your cool colors and then warm colors. Okay, that's all your different colors. Again, any medium you want to use. If you're in school, I got black and I got white paper. I kind of started that doing it with the kids that are in school. If you're home, you have to use what you have. You have your brown paper bag, you can cut that into a nice shape and then draw on top of that. So you better use what you have and make it work. Okay, and then again, this is a project grade, so I really want you to draw out, make those mushrooms and have fun with it and be creative, maybe outline it, and so then think about what, what are you gonna do in the background? You could more um, pattern, maybe you could put a swirly line. Remember, she did hallucinations, and maybe this is kind of like, looks like it's, she's making hallucinations with the line, that they're almost like they're moving, like you saw me. Back there, almost like a TV. You ever see the wavy lines in TV, which you may never see that before, but a lot of times, in, in the last quarter by your while, the you see lines and the color TV. So now you have to have smart TV, you don't have to worry about that too much. And I'm just doing wavy lines. And it's going to look like the mushrooms are moving into space. Remember when we did the optical illusion project? Maybe you can do some of your optical illusion here and have fun with it. All right, so that's it. And have fun and paint it and make it come alive. And those questions, answer all those questions and kind of look for it and find the answer. And um, make sure you try to fill everyone out for an easy hundred. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.